I didn't expect to like cry, but like I miss like going to concerts and like having fun with people I don't know and like like listening to music. And stuff. Like I just I'm sorry, I really did not mean to cry. Can <laughs> my I need to work on my intros because that was kind of <laughs> trash. <laughs> what is up, Crackhead Nation? I'm gonna look at the camera. What is up, Crackhead Nation? Is your girl Princess Galaxy? And today I'm gonna be talking about the Map of the Soul tour and everything that's been going on with that and just like everyone's emotions right now because I feel like no one's really talking about this. So when, for, okay, <laughs> for me, like I wanted to sit down and talk about this because I know a lot of you guys have kind of been like going through it emotionally and I feel like no one really talks about like sadness or like depression around like concerts like obviously like we're all kind of going through things right now with like events being canceled and stuff like that but I wanted to kind of sit down and talk about it because it's really <laughs> been affecting me <laughs> and I thought I'd just be open and honest and I know you guys can probably relate too so but first, if you guys enjoy K-pop content, please like and subscribe. It really helps out my channel. Liking the video super helps and subscribing to this beautiful face definitely helps too. And this beautiful afro. I know you want this afro in your feed at least once a week. Because <laughs> I talk about K-pop concerts and like that's my whole thing. So this is definitely affecting me probably more than your average human being. But let's get into it. So first I want to talk about the Map of the Soul tour. So as you guys probably know, I'm a huge ARMY, um, I'm a huge just like K-pop fan in general, and I'm, I've made a lot of different types of videos about concerts, especially surrounding like the Map of the Soul tour, because it's just something I naturally love. And um, it's canceled, not, okay. It's postponed, not canceled. So when I first found out that the, the Map of the Soul concerts were like, not going to be happening before big hit officially announced they're going to be postponed i was like i couldn't even think like i was like <clears throat> and i think a lot of us can relate but it's like when i first heard that they were like postponed i was like oh like i didn't even like fully process what was going on because for months now i have been making videos about the concerts you know like thinking about what i'm gonna wear you know like talking to you guys about it so for me, like seeing something that like you look forward to, like all of a sudden be like non-existent, that shit hurted. Like that shit hurted. <laughs> and I literally like, I didn't even process it. Like I said, like I literally just was like, oh, okay, great. And then eventually, you know, all these type of things, you know, like in Michigan, our stay at home orders began, I believe at the end of March and it's like, the middle of May right now and it's like this whole thing has just been so difficult like Coachella's canceled Lollapalooza you know like those are things I want to go to and you know I feel like there's so much going on and I feel like everyone's going through their own personal struggles with like everything with like so far with this pandemic but no one's like I said like really talking about like k-pop fans and kind of like how or just concerts in general and how that can like emotionally affect you and i kind of want this video to be kind of like a space where we can like talk about it because i'm not doing really well emotionally about this at all like i can like i can come on camera and like be cool about it but like i'm really not doing well and i think a lot of it has to do not only with like basically most of my entertainment being taken away from me you know like especially during this time you feel like everything is changing everything is just going wrong or just like not in the way that you expected it to go and it just feels like i'm really out of control right now and a lot of people can probably relate but the thing that's like really hitting me the most is that like i I love people. I love going to concerts. And like <laughs> like I'm I'm literally about to cry, but like I didn't ex I didn't expect to like cry, but like I miss like going to concerts and like having fun with people I don't know and like like listening to music. <laughs> like I just I'm sorry. I really not mean to cry. <laughs> 
I don't think I've ever cried on camera before. Unless it was like a super M vlog and I was like screaming and crying because of how beautiful like Kai is. But like, it's just like so difficult because it's like, no one else like really gets it. I feel like there's so many things going on right now. Like, you know, like unemployment and like all these industries falling apart. And it's like, like, of course those things are important, but it's like, you know, when you're like going through that, like you wait your whole, like you spend so much emotional time, you know, like thinking about like your faves and like seeing them in concert and stuff. And it's like, no one really thinks about that emotional aspect of like looking forward to something. And like every year, like in the beginning of the year, um, what I did, I wrote down like all the people I want to see this year and like all the concerts I wanted to go to. and. Like usually each year I kind of think about like how many concerts I want to go to, like a, like a ballpark, you know? Um, but like this year I was like, I want to go to eight concerts and now I might not even go to one. Like that sucks. Like literally like being at concerts, like it fuels me. Like it gives me so much life and it's like music, like, <laughs> it's like you know, like people be like, it's not just K-pop, like, you know, it's like music, like it heals you. Like that is so true. Like, especially for someone like me, like I'm an extrovert. Like I said, I love being around people. I love interacting. I love like looking at your guys' comments. And like, <laughs> it's like, like literally if like this wasn't happening, like I would be getting ready to like see my friends in Chicago, like meet you guys. It looks so weird. Like I really, <laughs> I'm a mess. <laughs> I, I'm a Pisces, okay? So like, naturally, I'm just gonna come out the gate with tears coming down my face. Well, it's like for months and months, like you're looking forward to something and then it just doesn't happen. And nothing's probably gonna happen for the rest of the year. And it's like, like I said, I keep saying it, but like, I'm an extrovert. Like, I need to be around people. Like, I need to like communicate with people and like, cause I can't just like, I don't mind being by myself, but it's like, I think we're like 50 something days into this quarantine and it's really just like affecting me. And it's like, at this point, it's just like, this is like, I feel like I just can't do it anymore. Like, obviously I'm not gonna like do anything drastic, like hurt myself or anybody else, but it's just like, <laughs> it just really sucks because it's like, you know, I was looking forward to seeing like NCT, you know, like, um, BTS, like I know other groups were put, like I want to see Everglow like on March, I think 11th or 13th in Chicago and like that didn't happen. And it just feels like everything that like you've been waiting for is just like taken away from you and it's just so hard. So like, <laughs> like shit, like this sucks. Like if you're going through like the same, a similar thing, which like you probably are and you probably haven't cried about it like I'm doing right now, <laughs> but like that is what I look forward to my entire year. And I feel like, like I'm just not inspired to do anything. Like it's just like you look forward to something and then it doesn't, it doesn't happen. And then like people are like, oh, well it's not a big deal. Oh, it's not, don't cry about it. Oh, it's just K-pop. Oh, it's just a concert. Like honestly, fuck the people that say that because like K-pop is like, is so important for so many people. And this is my favorite part of K-pop. Like my favorite part of K-pop is like going to concerts buying a light stick and like collecting your albums at home. Like <laughs> just like get your, see your face in real life. And like just being with people, like being with people who love the same thing as you do. It's just like, I just feel so alone. Like I feel like I just do the same thing every day. Like I wake up, take my boyfriend to work, come back home, help my mom, you know, like fucking eat some cereal lay down for hours until I have to pick up my boyfriend again from his job. And it's just like, this is really affecting me just like staying in. And even though like I go out, you know, like to the store and stuff, it's just like, it's so monotonous. And like there, I feel like there's no big event to look forward to. And it's just like, I'm not used to just like living life like this. And it's just really hard, so. If you're going through the same thing, <laughs> let me know <laughs> because I am going through it. Like I'm a pretty strong person. You know, I've been through a lot. 
but this is really hard especially for the fact that like no one really knows when all this is gonna be over so it's just emotionally plaguing me like i really can't describe it in any other way so i really want you guys to like leave comments and stuff like not just for the algorithm but just because like i'm going through it and i know you guys probably relate to what i'm going through with like it's like missing like being with your friends and stuff so if you can relate let me know leave a comment we'll all talk about it together if you haven't already subscribe to the channel like the video whatever you want to do and stay tuned for the next video i'm gonna be you guys still want k-pop concert tips and stuff like that so i'm gonna make a video next about how to survive us how to survive a k-pop concert by yourself like going solo and like meeting friends and stuff because i have a lot of experience with that i think almost half the concerts i've been to so far have been me like by myself so i'd love to just like be able to even if we can't go to concerts at least like be able to talk about them in like a fun way that like lifts us up and we can look forward to like meeting each other and especially bts soldier field whenever and guys look on the bright side i mean like even though like we don't know what's gonna happen we know that it's not canceled so if you have a ticket you'll still be able to use it one day we don't know when but one day so please stay safe out there not just washing your hands but washing your heart as well <laughs> I don't know what that was supposed to mean, but just, you know, being honest with yourself and with your emotions and how you're really feeling. Because for me, like when the quarantine first started, I kind of zoned out emotionally because I just didn't know what was going on. And I'm just now realizing that. So um, please just check up on your ex <laughs> on your extroverts <laughs> because we are low key suffering. I know everyone's kind of low key suffering, but um, extrovert keys over here. So. Thank you guys for watching. I love you so much. Like the video. It really helps me subscribe. And I will see you very soon with a new video on how to go to a K-pop concert by yourself. I love you so much. Bye.